Broadcasting live from Caroline's on Broadway in New York City. It's Sway in the Morning. Don't laugh at anybody. On Shade 45. New York City, man. All right, so moving right along. Our next comedian is from Detroit. She is about it. She is a dope comedian. Give it up for Roddy Chanel. What up, so? Baby, watch me, could have put a yeah. range on yeah. the chain, but I saw some change on it. Them little city bitches is nasty. <laughs> Them little city bitches, they say, do it, baby, stick it, baby, move it, baby, lick it, baby, suck up on that clip until that pussy got a hickey, baby. What? <laughs> That's crazy. That was my shit. Yeah. Till I looked in the back seat. And my 14 year old was like, do it, baby, stick it, baby, move it, baby, lick it. Bitch, you ain't got no pussy, bitch. You are a Barbie doll. You don't get a pussy till you're 18. <laughs> these little city bitches got these kids fucked up running around here talking about period poo. I'm like, you better have a period poo. I'm counting pads. How y'all doing today? What up, though? All the way from Detroit. Listen, I did not want to drive 10 hours for this shit, but I just really wanted to get away from my kids. Y'all like y'all kids? Man, fuck them kids. Fuck them kids. Oh my God. That little 14-year-old scares the fuck out of me. I woke up one day, she's like, oh my God, you're so strong. I said, what did I do? She said, you woke up. The fuck? Did you put in my casserole last night? Then I got Cinnamon. Cinnamon is 19 years old, and I know, yes, her name is Cinnamon. That's what happens when babies have babies. You name a fucked up shit like Cinnamon. She's lucky, because she could have been Paprika. <laughs> But Cinnamon graduated high school one year early, going to school at Xavier University to be an anesthesiologist, y'all. Clap it up. Yeah, I did that shit. I did that, boo-boo, yes. But I had named her Cinnamon for a reason, you know? I really thought she was going to be a stripper. I did, I did. I had been oiling her down and throwing glitter on her since she was two. And she really wanted to be somebody in life. If you don't go twerk, Paige and Dr. Cinnamon don't even sound right. I don't want nobody named Cinnamon putting me to sleep. Y'all ain't got no regular Ambers or Ashleys back there. Then I got a 22 year old. I know I'm cute. Y'all thought I was 22. I know. Look at me. Yes. I got a 22 year old son. I, he lame as fuck. Lame. Girl, he be getting mad because I be fucking his friends. I did not know this was Bible study, okay? Y'all real judgmental. I happen to like Lil Javante, yeah? Yeah. Lil Javante got a strong ass back, baby. He can lift all this 150 up, yeah? Fuck y'all, it's 175. Okay, it's 200 and some change. They still fucking my little fat ass, yeah? Some good pussy up under there, yes it is. It's like the hidden treasure at the end of the rainbow, baby. I stay wet, wet, sweat, whatever. <laughs> moisture is moisture, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Guess what, y'all? I just recently lost 92 pounds. Give it up for me. Yes, yes, yes. I fucked around and had that weight loss surgery, had half my stomach cut out and shit. That was the dumbest shit ever. I am so hungry. I'm just waiting on y'all to finish eating so I can lick y'all fingers because I, I can't eat shit. I'm dicing grapes these days. I'm eating two sunflower seeds and I'm full. <laughs> I had to get that weight off me though. As I'm telling you, my knees was hurting. My back was hurting and shit. I couldn't do regular shit again. Y'all know what regular shit is? Like, so since I lost weight, I'm fucking face to face again, y'all. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I was tired of niggas prison fucking me. You ain't gonna face down ass up me all the time. Sway, I want to look at you. I want to kiss. I was tired of niggas bending me over. Look at me. I done lost this goddamn weight. I done got back on top. I'm riding, y'all. I'm riding. Look at the knees. Look at the knees. Look at the bounce. Yeah. A bitch is riding. I was riding before. I was riding before. I was riding. We wasn't a real ride, it was more like a scoot. I was just getting on that motherfucker and just rock. After 36 seconds, was that? I was like, go ahead and press 
and fuck me. Go ahead. I was listening to the radio one day, y'all. And they had this commercial, and the commercial said, can you imagine if we had social media doing uh, the civil rights movement? Can you imagine that? And then my mind took it a little further. Can you imagine if we had social media doing slavery? Black people, we would not be free. It'd be some nigga going live, nigga, just made it up north. <laughs> just crossed into Canada, nigga. I swear to God, Sir Journal is the truth, nigga. I'm with Harriet right now. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the hashtags? Hashtags just made it up north. Hashtag just crossed over to Canada. Hashtag niggas, we made it. Hashtag the dogs is on us. Hashtag there go massa. And it wasn't no, it wasn't that he was live on Facebook and shit or the fact that he left his locator on. It's the bitter baby mama back on the plantation. Oh, I see you out here living all free and shit. You guys gonna leave us? I saw you. You gotta be fucking Harry. I know you fucking Harry, bitch.